right. So we talked about the um, um, the model 21 clock. The model 27 here also has night sights. It holds um, a nine round magazine. Um, basically, this is a concealed gun. A guy that wants to carry a weapon and um, have a little bit more firepower. And um, we talk about knockdown power with guns. Right. Most people don't really understand what knockdown power is. They think it's, you know, some huge gun. You shoot somebody, it picks them up like it does in the movies, and throws right. them back. Not the case. That's not knockdown power. Right. <clears throat> knockdown power is the ability of the bullet to expand to the maximum amount, so that when it goes through an, an object, that it cuts and tears vital organs, and you have a better chance of having an immediate uh, termination on, um, if it's in a self-defense um, mode, terminating um, a human quickly, or if you're, most of the guns here are probably, we're going to use outdoors, whether it's on, um, you know, wolves, bear, coyotes, some type of predatory animal. Yeah, and I'd, I'd say, that, you know, for us, exactly right. I, I had an encounter this uh, last summer out there with a black bear that was probably about 100 yards away, and it was chasing down a cow elk, and it was about a 400-pound black bear that, uh, it's pretty close. Exactly, and in it, living in the mountains here in Idaho, that's more of what we're going to run into. Chances of, of having to defend against a, another, you know, another human being is pretty small. Yeah, yeah, in central Idaho, we don't worry about that as much as you may wouldn't. Uh, a big city. If you, yeah, if you lived in a big city, you'd probably okay, have to worry okay, about okay. that. So, so uh, awesome. I mean, I and this one here we talked about. This is Smith and Wesson brand. This is a Smith and Wesson. It's okay. a model 442. Okay. It's in a 38 caliber. Okay. This one here is also um, shoots the same um, bullet, okay. but this one's in a 357. You know, which would be something that you'd probably want to pack more, like in the if you're out hunting or in the backcountry. Right. I carry a 357 personally, either that or a 44. So exactly. This has got a very interesting grip. Uh, why don't you tell our viewers a little about the difference in the two grips that we're looking at here? Well, this is in a Vaquero, and this is this is the uh, standard. Okay. What what makes these guns different is the fact that um, this gun has a Bisley style grip, and it's a bigger grip. If you notice, my hands are fairly fairly large, and when I grab a when I grab an old army style grip, because that's what this is, my hand actually goes over the top of the grip. Right. It's a little bit difficult to hold yeah. the weapon and um, fire. With the Bisley, they came out with a it's a longer handled grip. You notice my hand actually fits the grip much better, and I can control the weapon much better. 